Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, and today we're going to be doing some symmetrical product design, specifically for my new pair of glasses, because this video is in partnership with Banton Frameworks, and they are a spectacle making company based in Scotland, run by Lucy Ross and Jamie Bartlett. And together they brought my custom design to life for my own pair of beautiful, bespoke, Dansky glasses. Now, product design, it's not something I've done a lot of throughout my career, but it was a good chance to try something different. And it's safe to say that I learned a fair bit about spectacle related terminology. So first of all, I'm going to briefly talk about the collaboration process, and then we're going to jump into Illustrator, and I'm going to demonstrate one of the new features that makes it super easy to produce a mirrored or symmetrical frame design. So for the collaboration, we partnered up last year to produce a bespoke pair of glasses and also a video covering the process just like this one. And obviously last year didn't quite go to plan, did it? So the whole process took a lot longer than expected, but it began by producing a design for my dream frame. And whilst it was tempting to produce something wacky with curves and flourishes and what have you, I really wanted to design a frame that I would want to wear every day and that would feature two things, the blue, from my branding and also my logo. So a large part of the design was actually based on my previous super dry frame. Now this is falling apart a little bit. The logo on this side has actually fallen off, but I genuinely like the proportions, the size, the overall shape. So this was a really good starting point. So essentially very similar to this with regards to the sizing and proportions, but of course with my own signature styling and branding, essentially that was the brief. So the next step was then designing the frame itself in Illustrator. And whilst the process that I used last year was very manual and very complicated, Adobe have since added a new feature to Illustrator that makes it super, super easy to produce mirrored designs. And that's actually what we're going to do right now. So let's jump into Illustrator and get started. So I'm going to start by selecting the ellipse tool, click and hold shift to draw a circle, and then align this to the center of the artboard. Hold alt or option and drag to create a duplicate, and then delete the original. Next, with this shape selected, go to object, down to repeat, and select mirror. Using this technique, our mirror line is now central, and we can rotate this using the control point on the top or bottom, or the middle one to adjust the distance. Next, we're going to select the rectangle tool and click and drag to draw the shape for our lens. Now, these are just rectangles. It does get better, I promise. So if I go and select the direct selection tool, I can now drag over an anchor point and use the arrow keys to distort this shape. Now with the shape selected, we can switch to the direct selection tool and round off the corners with the control points. However, there's something we need to do first. So let's copy and paste our shape and then use the arrow keys to move it out. We'll go to object, down to envelope, distort and make with warp. Select bulge as the style and we'll start with horizontal and we can adjust the bend. So we'll go for about 15 to 20%, something like this. Click OK. Next, we can go to object, down to expand and we'll expand the object and the fill for this appearance effect. And then we'll go and repeat the process. Instead, we're going to select vertical and do something similar. Now we can adjust the value with the up and down arrow keys as well. When you're happy, click OK, go to object, expand, and you guessed it, click OK, and then use the direct selection tool to round off the corners. Next, with the main selection tool, we can select our lens shape, go to edit and cut. This will cut it from the document, but also copy it to the clipboard. And we can double click to go inside our mirror group, delete the shape that's in there, and then paste this in place and use the arrow keys to move it back up. So now we have our custom lens design inside the mirrored group and we can make any final adjustments to the size, shape or position. Once you're happy, go to object, down to path and select offset path. We can then enter a positive or negative value and Illustrator will create a new shape based on our lens. Next, I'm going to select the rectangle tool and use this to build out the structure for the temples and the bridge. Hopefully I didn't butcher the terminology. And then we're going to zoom in nice and close and grab everyone's favorite tool, the pen tool. And we're going to use this to connect these new shapes to the structure of our frame. So I'm just going to click and hold and drag until I get a nice smooth curve. And then I can of course zoom in and use the direct selection tool to refine the position of that anchor point and then use the handles to adjust the curvature. And you can press Command or Control Y to preview this in outline mode just to check everything looks good. 
And now using the pen tool with the techniques we've covered so far, I'm going to design the rest of the frame. Once you're happy, we can select everything and grab the shape builder tool and then click and drag through all of the shapes to connect these to one shape. And you can see this last one doesn't seem to want to work here. So what I need to do is with the direct selection tool, select these two anchor points holding shift, go to object, path and join. These are now a complete shape. So if I reselect everything and then drag through with the shape builder tool, there we go. And I can use a direct selection tool to remove that divider as well. Now another nifty tool is the smooth tool. So we can click and drag over various points and this will smooth out curves. So you can see we have a bit of a kink here and we can just drag over this a number of times until we have a curvature that we're happy with. And we can double click the tool as well to adjust the fidelity. And I'm just gonna take a second to go through and just smooth everything out, fine tune the entire design and just remove any leftover anchor points. We can now come out of our mirrored group and just drag everything around the artboard to check that it moves as one shape. Once you're happy, go to Object, Expand and click OK. Lastly, we can use the direct selection tool to select this box that was left over from the mirrored group. We'll remove that and then swap our fill and stroke. And with the direct selection tool, select both parts of our frame, go to edit, cut, remove absolutely everything else and then paste this back in place. And again, it's always worth just zooming in, going into outline mode, just checking everything is connected up and that there's no other leftover anchor points. So there we go, I hope you enjoyed that mini tutorial. I just love how easy it is now to design symmetrically in Illustrator. It's just, whew, it's gonna make my life so much easier. So the next step was producing designs for the side elevations showing the temples, one side being black and the other side being as close to the Dansky blue as possible. Lastly, adding the Dansky logo to one side to really stamp the frame as my own. So once everything was designed, the files were then sent to Jamie and I received some laser cut samples for the frame and the temples in the post. And after reviewing the samples, we made a few minor alterations. So maybe a few more mil here, a bit thicker here. And we also switched from using acetate to acrylic to achieve the dual colored temples, as there was a good match for the blue color in the acrylic material, and this more closely resembled the design. And we ended up sending the Illustrator file back and forth a few times, just so we were 100% happy before moving ahead with production. And you're about to see some footage of the production right now. B-roll. Mm. It's also worth mentioning that the lenses they've used are anti-blue light and anti-scratch. Probably bulletproof as well. Disclaimer, spectacle lenses are not certified as bulletproof and improper use may result in severe injury, blindness or death. For more information, please refer to your own common sense. And after a few weeks, my new pair of glasses arrived in the post. Whew, that was a good day. And it's safe to say that I absolutely love it. Now, this is a more streamlined description of the entire process, obviously, 2020 was just a tad more complicated than that. But we got there in the end and it just feels amazing to see my two-dimensional on-screen design transformed into a, a real world product that I can actually wear and use every day. So lastly, I just want to say a huge thank you to Lucy and Jamie from Banton Frameworks. I absolutely love my new Dansky glasses. And if you'd like to find out more information or check out their frame designs, I'll add a link to their website in the video description. And that, my friends, concludes the video. So I hope you found this interesting and possibly learned something new. As always, take care and I'll see you next time.